uh, they aren't all taking them. There's Nelson Piquet and a couple of others, and that's it. The rest of them are sitting, uh, sitting on the grid. Well, normally every Formula One car goes out for a warm-up lap. They come back to the grid, all warmed up and ready to go. But as th this protest has proceeded along, several of the drivers have not even gotten back in their cars yet. Several of the cars are not running, and yet a few cars are out making that one warm-up lap. And when they come back, they could be looking at a start. It's hard to say what's going to happen. There's Carlos Reutemann. He's got some sort of a problem. He's discussing with Frank Williams. I have no idea what that's all about. Williams is pointing at his watch. For some reason, time appears to be a factor. Well, it should be. We're about down to about a minute and a half to start, if I've got my clock right. And still, cars are coming back up into their grid, yet others have not even gone around. There's Carlos Patrese back there waving. He's got some sort of... Now he's waving more frantically. He, uh probably has stalled his engine or is overheating something. Piquet just came back and overshot his position. That's illegal the way I interpret the rule book. Well, I'm not sure about that technicality, but he's he's being pushed into position, and uh, I'm very confused at this point. Eddie right. Cheever back on the fourth row on the ends. Whoops, there's Patrese. You can see him very clearly waving at the starter right now. He's got some... And there's the green. The race has started. Oh, look out! Ouch, what a bad-looking deal. Somebody ran into the back of Patrese. Oh, and there was a mechanic in between. It's his own teammate, that Siegfried Storr. Oh, oh, what a sickening way to get... Oh, there it is. It's Siegfried Storr, the other driver, getting out of his car right now. And the mechanic was out trying to get the other car started as they use an air-type starter to get him going. And, oh, what, what a terrible scene right now. Here's a replay. They've got a replay on it. All right, well, here's the look coming right up and there is a mechanic stuck right in there between at the point of impact it looks like Siegfried Storr didn't have a chance of stopping he hit his brakes right at the last second but no way of stopping because he was blinded by the car he was following and then he made that cut and there was his teammate they're gonna have to black flag this they can't let this race go on can they I wouldn't think so all right well they're out there right now so let's let's go ahead with the race action out in front of it let's see it looked like Nelson Piquet in front as they come around and it is Nelson Piquet in the Parmalat Brabham car in front of it as they lead on lap one, if it is lap one. There wasn't a whole lot of damage to the cars, but uh, unfortunately that mechanic was right between them. They're still racing, but they're, I'm sure they're going to stop, but they're trying to uh, slow the cars down now. You would expect them to stop. Let's see what happens as the guys all come by here now. And so they're still hard on the throttle. That it, typical of racers, they're not going to stop until they see either a black or a red flag that actually stops them. But now they can see the severity of the incident. Uh, Piquet's still running strong, and there you see uh, Sir went off in the grass, it looked like. Oh, what an unfortunate way to start it here at Silver. But out in front, it's Nelson Piquet, as we are continuing with the running, apparently. And Nelson Piquet has uh, used it as a great advantage right now. And there's another shot, once again, as we try to get Storer's car off of the racetrack. Front end nose damage, obviously apparent. It looks like uh, most of the field is backed off and stuff. Now I think, uh, yeah, the, I'm there's sure there's a pace there's, car. Yeah. yeah, there's a pace car out, but the leader has been racing. And let's see what happens as the, the rest of the field just keeps right on going by it. Flags are at every corner. Yellow flags out everywhere. I think they're just trying to make it obvious to these guys that they're going to have to stop. All right, here's a shot of it again, they tell me. So let's look at it from the start. There's the mechanic. Ducks in behind the car to start it with the air starting device. And there's Siegfried Storer. Just drills him. All right, now everybody apparently has gotten the message. And it appears that not everybody has gotten the message. Nelson Piquet is still hard on the throttle. Uh, the red flag is only given at the start-finish line, and they may have failed to throw it the first ra the first lap by in the confusion, but I'm sure they'll throw it. I'm just sure they're going to stop this race and restart it. Well, obviously, the starter is not having his best day. As we we're, They all come by the incident one more time, and it looks as though now they are all coming to a halt, and uh, I think we will have a restart. We'll come back to Belgium and find out. It should be Carlos Reutemann in the white Williams car. Next to him will be Nelson Piquet in the blue and white Brabham. Then go back to the second row, the bright red Ferrari of Didier Peroni. Then a blank open spot where Ricardo Patrici will be unable to continue and the hole will be left there. Move back into that next row and find John Watson in the McLaren, Alan Jones in the white Williams, uh, Gilles Villeneuve in the other red Ferrari, and Eddie Cheever in the dark blue car, which is a Tyrrell. Well, all the cars have had their, their proper warm-up lap, and we're getting very close to a start. Well, let's hope this start goes better than the other one. Watch them closely. Green flag, and they are away. And still, from a standing start, Formula One cars are one of the most awesome sights coming off the line. There goes Peroni. He comes from the second row and gets by Reutemann for the lead into the first. 
turn. All right, DDA Peroni driving the Ferrari, the very bright red colored Ferrari that is just making nothing but gobs of horsepower. And this is the early stages of the race. Look at Peroni pull.